and in all of this you also get to author you also yes. get to write a book yeah. at some point yeah. yes, <laughs> uh tell yeah. us a little bit about that also <laughs> Yeah, so then we have the SEAL program. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, now in my, I'm in my 40s and mm -hmm. it's all this legacy stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, so what we try to do is that uh, uh, we try to really be innovative around each of those pillars. Mm -hmm. So under leadership and governance, mm -hmm. uh, I had been traveling. I have a friend of mine called uh, Nils. Mm -hmm. Nils um, he is a Swede. Mm. And so for the last 10 years, pretty much every year, I've been going to Sweden mm. for whatever I, I think is always the reason why I need to go. Mm. And uh, when I travel, I began observing and asking myself, you know, 60 years ago, Sweden was at the same development stage as Kenya. Mm -hmm. What happened? What happened that you were left behind? Mm. And I began making observations about the, the development model mm. about Sweden. Mm. Now, there's what they call the Chippo Helix. Chippo Helix is, if you think about uh, Nairobi County, mm. um, they try to bring together uh, three things, uh, three entities. One is the government, because the government is always in charge of development. Mm. But the second is the private sector. Mm. And the third is the academia. Mm. And the three work together towards identifying the core assets of that county, where their municipalities, developing a strategic plan of where they need to go to maximize mm -hmm. all their assets, mm -hmm. and then they develop a plan and they work on it together. Mm -hmm. And they feed onto each other, mm -hmm. such that uh, the government obviously drives the plan, but the, the private sector identifies innovations mm -hmm. uh, from the community based on the raw materials. Mm -hmm and they commercialize them, mm. and the academia yeah, yeah. does research. Yeah. I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Gothenburg, which is next to Boros, where I, I normally tend to go, mm. is uh, they said they're going to spe they spe they specialize on smart textiles, mm. on textiles, mm. your clothes and so mm. forth. Mm. About 10 years ago, they were really talking about smart textiles. Mm. Smart textiles, is when you go to your car mm. and your car seat talks to you, mm. tells you, Maxi, you have a high blood pressure, you need to go and see a doctor. Mm. Mm. So they don't see textiles as just things that you put on, mm. but uh, smart mm. and get you an mm. add value. Mm. And that can only come when you have a very close collaboration between um, the government, all the three, all the three mm. working together. Mm. I visited the Lund University mm. and I was talking to the president mm. of the university. Mm. And uh, you know what the major success of that university? Mm. On the wall, there was logos of companies. Yeah. And I asked him, what are these logos doing here? Mm. He said, Mike, but these are the companies that have origin from this university. Exactly. You may know some of them. Mm. I asked him, have you ever heard of a Tetra Pak? He said, yeah, of course I know Tetra Pak. Mm. Have you ever heard of Bluetooth? Mm. I, I just went through the list. Yeah. Mm. And he said, you know, I have IP mm. in those companies. Mm. So they measure success of the academia based on the enterprises that emerge. Mm. And so they have created a very good framework mm. where, because here yeah, I think about a professor comes up with a new innovation. Mm. Private sector wants to steal with and run with it. Mm. But you know, you can't you in fact, they are thinking about an academia is the reverse. Mm. They look for people who are successful in their practice yeah. and the ones who teach in the yeah. university. Yeah. Um, I went to a high school in Sweden mm -hmm. where there were kids, there were like 10 vehicles and mm. there were some kids on a bus and I asked them, what are those kids it's Form 3? Mm. What are they doing under the bus? Mm. They told me, well, these kids wanted a school bus mm. because they uh, a football team. Mm. Then they were, they were told, you know, you go and look for a bus that's totally written off mm. and come and put it together. Mm. So they came put it together. These are from three. Mm. That's not universal Nairobi engineering mm. um, class. Mm. They put together and that's what they use. Mm. They told me the day the timing belt of Volvo changes, mm. their curriculum changes. High school. Mm. 
So they have a different, you know, their approach. education system mm. is meant to solve community problems. problems. Yeah. It's not meant to be knowledge it's in its own. Yeah. Yeah. And so therefore it's fresh. Yeah. It's relevant. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, for us as Africans, you see, because we are colonized, there's a sense in which we were trained to become clerks and mm. you know, we're not meant to produce anything mm. from education, mm. but we're supposed to fit into this education system mm. that we are laborers. So I was studying all this and uh, you know, after a while you begin seeing patterns in mm. Sweden, mm. I begin asking, okay, how does that look like mm. uh, in Kenya? How would that look like? Mm. Of course, uh, they are corruption is also, they, they, they don't tolerate uh, mm. corruption. Mm. So, so I was, you know, so here I was in my 40s. I had worked with the government. Yeah. I had worked with the NGO. Yeah. I'd been running some uh, companies. Mm. I knew pretty much what goes on in university. So, I mean, for any standard, mm. uh, I've had the opportunity mm. of really inter 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 interacting with the very different sectors. Yeah. And uh, somehow I can be able to connect development challenges of the, yeah. Uh, yes. of the triple index. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I could mm. be able to make those connections. Mm. So then I was at home one night and I was listening to one politician talking mm. and it was going to be, just at a time like this, mm. going to be going towards the next election. Mm. And of course, promising the world to mm. the country. Mm. And I just sat there saying that is a lot of nonsense. Mm. These guys are forever just telling us this stuff, mm. but they don't intend to do it. Mm. And that particular politician, actually, he had been, that was not the first time he, had been, mm. he wanted to run mm. properly as a president, presidential candidate. So I was just so disgusted. Mm. I woke up, mm. I did this sort of nonsense, then go to bed. Mm. And I woke up and went to bed. But uh, mm. God has a way of speaking to me. So somewhere at midnight, like a knock on my, the heart of my door, the door of my heart. And uh, so Mike, so you're quite disgusted about uh, this case, eh? Yeah, because I have a bunch of liars. <laughs> I don't even see what's the point of participating in the mm. politics because mm. it's the same, you know, we just, just fed with the same uh, nonsense. Mm. Hmm. Then you know what? I actually, this guy is better than you because you, you think you know everything, mm. but you're doing nothing about with what you know. Yeah, mm. but this guy is doing what he can with mm. what he knows. Mm. What the point of being arrogant of knowledge, mm. and you're doing nothing about it? Quite a challenge. Yeah, mm. I thought, okay, Lord, yeah, that does make sense. Mm. I'm feeling very self-righteous, mm. but doing nothing about it. Mm. And yet, yet as I've actually been gone, you've given me experiences. You've seen, yeah, you've seen it different. You've yeah. experienced it I've worked different. Of, yeah, I've worked mm. on public sector. Mm. I know what the government thinks. Mm. I have a lot of connection with the government. Mm. Um, so I said, okay, let me wake up and uh, try and put these six ideas mm. on. on uh, let's write them down. Mm. That was midnight. Mm -hmm. By five in the morning. Mm. I had written the first two chapters of the book. Oh, wow. And an outline of the remaining eight chapters. Hey. Within a month, the book was launched by the government spokesman, who was then Dr. Alfred Mutua. Mm. He launched the book, Kanyampia, holding leaders to account. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, <laughs> and it was basically a model mm. of what I envisioned, if you want to leave this country, mm. uh, basically how to lead. It's a summary of we need to have um, a private sector approach to public sector, where when you think about a county, you know, when you think about a county, really like Nairobi County, think about Nairobi County. Yeah. Think of it as being, you are a resident of Nairobi County. Yeah. Think of it as being a private sector company mm. and you are a shareholder. Mm. You want the best. Yeah. You want so, it to account. Think about mm. uh, you, how much in terms of cash mm. you own mm. as a shareholder mm. in this county. Mm. You know, uh, right now, I don't know what the collection has been, mm. but uh, in the past, the collection of Kenya, mm. in terms of the money we collect, has been 1.2 trillion shillings. Mm. 
60% of that is from Nairobi. Hmm. So, then you are talking about, uh, um, you are talking about, uh, if you divide, so 600 billion mm. is the cash we collect in the world. Mm. Mm. And you are shareholder of that. You have a portion of that. A big one. Mm. So the next elections, you will be hiring a CEO. Mm. Mm. Essentially. Yes. So think of the kind of what caliber of a CEO mm. you need to hire mm. to manage 600 billion. Mm. How much does Safari come? What the Safari command would turn off? Yeah. Mm. It's probably, I think, at the, I would guess maybe half of that, maybe 300 billion. Mm. I don't know. I don't, it used to be 30 billion. Yeah. Maybe uh, less than uh, maybe. So the same the same standard, though, yeah. if not higher. We it's actually require higher. much higher. Yeah. yeah. So you need a Bob Colimo yeah. or uh, my, my yeah. Bob Joseph yeah. or the current uh, exactly. I Choose Life alumni <laughs> <laughs> CEO. Yeah. <laughs> not I Choose Life, but. Uh, Starry alumni CEO yes, yes. To, to be the one who is so so uh, for Nairobi County you need ten times that mm, mm, in terms of mm, qualification mm, in terms of integrity, uh, integrity, integrity yeah. competence mm, mm. so then the book that I wrote mm. was really how to think about mm. um, vetting leaders yeah and uh, identifying the right leaders mm. uh, having count uh, citizen development strategic plan mm. so they can identify the right leaders vet the leaders and, and then them to account. Yeah. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. And we piloted that in uh, Machakos mm. because I thought we did pilot that in Machakos County. We piloted that model in Machakos County mm. in 20, the previous election, I think that was 2012. Mm. Now we first piloted before the elections, then it got, the, it got uh, uh, visibility yeah. at the national level. Yeah. And so then, uh, then they picked up the media picked it up. Mm -hmm. They organized the presidential debates, mm -hmm. but based on that model. Mm -hmm. And then I was asked to become an eminent person mm -hmm. and commenting on the presidential elections mm -hmm. as a result of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but mm -hmm. a lot of some of that thing was based on what that book. Yeah, and then what we were piloting in Machakos mm -hmm. County. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have um, ambitions for political office yourself? <laughs> <laughs> People ask me all that all the time, yeah. uh, but no, not now. Mm. I think uh, what I want to do is influence mm. who influence the citizens mm. to choose the right leaders. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and so in so this the next there's an initiative we are doing also for the next election now, mm. and the idea is to help the citizen develop a strategic plan. Mm -hmm. We're doing that between now and uh, December. Mm -hmm. Then between January and April, mm -hmm. vet everybody from MCS mm -hmm. to all the way to the governors. Mm -hmm. uh, then after that, uh, support the right leaders to become mm -hmm. elected. Elected. Yeah. And then after elections? All the to account. All the to yes, account. Yes, all account. So again, yeah. primarily based very much on the model, yeah, the, the NMK model. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. And and um, so that's on leadership and governance. But what's yeah. when, when Mike now looks at, at the future. Yes. What does, what does Mike see?